This legislative summary is provided to you by Main Street Insider. This week we examine the Rebuild America Jobs Act, sponsored by Senator Amy Klobuchar. When the President's American Jobs Act failed to get enough votes to proceed to debate in the Senate, his Democratic allies vowed to bring up each section of the bill for a standalone vote. One such section spends $60 billion tackling the nation's crumbling infrastructure. The American Society of Civil Engineers report card for America's infrastructure reveals a nation woefully underachieving in virtually every category. The Rebuild America Jobs Act is identical to the infrastructure section of the President's plan. Specifically, it would create a national infrastructure bank with $10 billion of startup funds, invest $50 billion in a variety of direct road, air, and transit infrastructure projects, and impose a 0.7% millionaire's tax to pay for the investments. Most opponents are publicly objecting to the funding mechanism, although some may simply wish to deny President Obama a legislative victory. There's an ocean uh, between the idea of actually building roads when we need them and actually using infrastructure spending as a job program. It makes no sense. Supporters see this as a win-win proposal, fixing our crumbling infrastructure while creating jobs. Every job that we create by investing in infrastructure is a job here that American will be performing. The Rebuild America Jobs Act will be brought to the Senate floor this week, but is highly unlikely to garner the 60 votes needed to advance to a full debate. Tune in next Monday for another episode of 90 Second Summaries at MainStreetInsider.org.